you now have all the formulas you need to think about um, omega and period, but I want to show you uh, a different way to remember them that makes it a little bit easier. There's an interesting way that they kind of come together. So we're just going to look, we're going to go between angular, omega, and period, or uh, angular velocity and period, omega and t, to just the speed and the acceleration, the centripetal acceleration, which isn't really translational, but you know what I mean, omega t and v and a. So here we have, as usual, an object going in circular motion with some radius r, and it's going here at some speed v. That's what the whole unit almost is about. So first, let's look at the speed. All right, we had this formula. We said omega is 2 pi over t, but then we did have t um, written in terms of the velocity. What was t? It was uh, 2 pi r over v, right? t was how far it has to go, the circumference over v. So you actually see in this case the 2 pi's go away, and you can see an easy relationship between the speed and the angular velocity and the radius. It's always just, they're always related by a radial, by an r. And they kind of need it. If we think about units, of course this is in meters per second, right? Omega we said we have to do it in radians, so it's in radians per second. But radians aren't really real. It's kind of a natural angle that has no physical quantity. This is really just in one over seconds. So what would it take to get this from just one over seconds to meters per second? Uh, another meter. So if you can't remember if it's v equals omega r or omega equals vr, well, first of all, just remember, it's v equals omega r. But the units can always get you there. It's the omega that needs another meter to become meters per second. So I just found this easier to remember than all of the omega and all the t formulas. We can also do it with the centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration. All right, and we can say, uh, what was it, AC was V squared over R. So then we could say, oh, but V is just omega R. Right, so that must be omega squared R squared with an R in the bottom. All right, so then we see that the centripetal acceleration AC is just um, R omega squared. So here, yeah, it's like that. So omega squared r, v is omega r, ac is omega squared r. And again, the units work out. This would be 1 over second squared. So this is meters per second squared, same as that. So just for sort of doing problems quickly, especially like on an exam, I find those two useful to keep in mind. There are similar ones later when we get to uh, rotational numbers. Let's do a few actual numbers here. I think we could with our demo. We have uh, our bowling ball here slowed down quite a bit. But if we bring it out to a radius of about a meter and send it around, we already measured that it went around in four seconds. Right? Our period was four seconds. So we should be able to figure out its velocity. Let's see. So its velocity as it goes around, the radius is one meter. Omega, we remember, is two pi over t, so 6.28 over four. That would be the velocity. Um, four seconds, meters per second. What is that? Six, uh, four goes in. Ooh, let's do the long division, because I know you, you're on the internet to watch me do long division. Two left, 22, five. 1.57 meters per second. That's how fast it's actually going. Exciting. But what about the acceleration? It's easy to visualize the velocity. Yeah, that looks like about one and a half meters per second. What about the acceleration? You're not used to watching things accelerate. So this will be exciting. Let's see, what is this equal to? Omega, that was that uh, 2 pi over t, right? Uh, and that's squared and times 1, but the t was 4, and this was 6.28. So we can see numerically, it's actually this, this, this answer squared. See, I said that was 1.57. And it's not always just squared. It's because this only gave a 1, right? 1.57 is like 1.6, and I believe 16 squared is 324. So I'm going to say that it's 3.24 meters per second squared. So if you ever wonder what 3.24 meters per second squared looks like, it looks like that. 